Hey guys, welcome back to Wing Wednesdays. I'm Tucker and today I have an exciting new product I want to tell you guys about and kind of show you how it works and that is the Cloud9 Anchorman Leash System. So what this might look like on the face value here is a wing leash, a waist belt. You know, you got your, your wing leash here, you got your swivelly swivelly so you can do all the spinny spins without getting all tangled. So yeah, it kind of just looks like your, your basic wing waist leash, but it's more than that. So the idea here is you have a quick release right here. It works just like a kiteboarding safety leash. If you are familiar with that, if not, we'll show you how it works here. You just grab and push away from your body and that pops loose. So it's a safety release. To re-engage it, you just put the finger back through the loop there and re-engage it there like that. So you're ready to go again. So the idea here is number one, to have a safety release system on your wing. So if you're in a situation where you need to detach from your wing quickly, that you can do that. So that's kind of the, the first intention here and it does that wonderfully. The second intention here is to make sure your wing doesn't get blown down into oblivion into the elephant graveyard or whatever you want to call it, where you're probably not going to recover it. And if you do, it's going to be damaged and hopefully didn't hurt somebody or whatever the kind of liability you'd have there. But the idea is that it stops the wing from blowing downwind and causing harm or getting lost or damaged. So how it does that is you're going to blow your safety release. That's going to pull this parachute looking thing out of your waist belt. And when that hits the water, it fills up with water and stops the wing. So it's called a sea anchor. It's about, you know, one foot by one foot. So not huge, but just enough to stop your wing from blowing down wind. It works amazing. Out of the times I've tested it, it almost works too good. A lot of times I'm doing it on purpose while I'm riding a wave just to kind of leave the wing behind. And then I end up way downwind and have to paddle my way back to it. So it always works too good a lot of times. We've tested it in higher winds. We've tested it in waves, breaking waves. I've put this thing through the ringer in like five foot swell. And I was amazed at how well it hung in there and just kept the wing where it was supposed to be until I came back. So big two thumbs up for functionality. I haven't had a situation where it didn't work yet. I've tried to kind of you know, throw it off awkwardly. Uh, you know, I've done it with the wing down or flying position. I've done it with the wing upside down. It always seems to work. So I haven't found a situation where it's problematic yet. If we do, or if you had, put a comment in the comment section below and maybe we can figure it out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been 100% functional for me thus far. No damage, no repairs or anything needed. So this thing works ad, as advertised, I would say. I'll show you how to repack it right now, just because that is something you will have to do eventually. And I would suggest practicing it on dry land first so that when you get into the water, it's a little bit more difficult, especially in high winds. You know, your wings kind of pulling on your, your leash and whatnot. The good news is if you drop it, this thing's gonna stop it again. <laughs> so it's not really a big problem, but no one wants to sit on the water for 10 minutes packing this up when they could be out riding. So practice before you get out there. The way you do that, this isn't like a factory approved way, but the way I've kind of found has worked best for me. I'm gonna find the middle here, grab it. I'm gonna kind of make one of these so that that's all in line and not tangled up. I just kind of folded it over like this and I'm gonna cram this into the waist belt. So <clears throat> we have these neoprene sleeves here. Should be two of them on your waist belt. And you just shove that into the neoprene sleeve and that holds it in there until it needs to be released. So that's what it looks like. And then you're gonna hook that through the loop, fold it in, and you're ready to ride. Re-engage, ready to go again. The belt buckle is a really nice setup. It's just like my one on my Wingman, Mystic Wingman harness. You just slide it through here like that, and then it locks in. So you can almost like kind of ratchet it to tighten it. And then if you want to pull it off, you just pull it back like that. So that's kind of like a secondary safety release too, but 
also is, is reliable as a waste leash. This is something that you're gonna easily snag and release by accident. So again, zero issues with this and 100% functionality on our testing. So we're really amped on the Anchorman. I think the people that are gonna be most stoked about this are going to be people, number one, that are concerned with safety of their wing, people that might wanna release their, their leash. So if you're in you know, a situation where you, know, you, you need to release your wing and get away from it for whatever reason, um, whether you're in big waves, heavy current, real strong winds, you know, any situation where the wing could drag you into danger or, you know, become an issue or, or even just where the wing might be in danger, you know, in a big wave situation, it's better to release your wing than try to drag it through a 20 foot macking swell that's just gonna obliterate your wing. Release it, let it do its thing. It's not going to blow down wind and hurt anybody. It's not gonna blow down wind and get lost or damaged. So it's awesome for that. Another reason, Anybody that wants to get into surf foiling, but doesn't want to deal with paddling into waves and sitting in the lineup and blah, blah, blah. If you're a winger, you go out there, you find the whatever wave you like, release your wing, go surf your wave, paddle back or pump back, hook back in and do it again. It's a blast. It's a great way to go out and get your wave count up and to get longer rides, especially on a smaller day where you know, it's like knee high, you can't even paddle in until you hit a sandbar. <laughs> you know, go out there and wing it and go ride them. And then additionally, downwinders. So if you're getting into downwinding, the wingman is the perfect companion for that so that you can go out and practice without getting stranded. So you can go out and practice. And if the conditions aren't quite right, you can still have fun and learn because it is such a fickle sport. Additionally, that way you can share your wing with a buddy too. So if you both know what you're doing winging, you can get the wing, get yourself up, and then hand it off to a buddy who can then get the wing, get themselves up. If you fall or mess up downwinding, they can pass the wing off to you and vice versa. So it's a really awesome way to get out there and have a lot of fun, get into riding swell, downwinding, without you know the worry of getting stranded or having to paddle or walk miles on end without you know any, any way to get back on foil. So really great for safety. And, and peace of mind in a situation like that. So this has been the Cloud9 Anchorman. We have them in stock here at Matt Kite. As of this moment, they are a, a hot product, so we'll do our best to keep in stock for y'all and get you out there on the water having fun with these things. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the comment section below. Give us a call at the shop, send an email, whatever. And if you have any additional suggestions on the ways we can use this, let us know, we'd love to hear it. Love to try it out ourselves. This has been Tucker with Matt Kiteboarding and we'll see you next time.